There is war and genocide in the Sudan, especially in the Darfur region. There is genocide in Darfur against the black indigenous Muslim population, including by rapid support forces, RSF, and their allied Arab militias. In El Janina, a city in western Darfur, thousands of Mesalit and other non-Arab residents were slaughtered. RSF forces and their allies raped women and girls. They murdered in cold blood civilians of all ages. They murdered children, parents, babies. Bodies were thrown into the river. From that one city alone, hundreds of thousands of people that survived the massacres fled and are now refugees. Hundreds of thousands of people, children and babies included, have been slaughtered from the deliberate targeting of indigenous, of indigenous black populations in Darfur. Rape is used as a weapon of war to shame and degrade the Masalit and other native people. The refugees from Darfur and the people still in Darfur face starvation. The deaths of hundreds of thousands of people have not been the result of casualties of war, but from the deliberate targeting and murdering of civilians of all ages. Thousands upon thousands of women and girls have been raped. Millions of people fleeing the ethnic cleansing and genocide are refugees. The genocide continues, this genocide continues to this to be ignored. Reporters, journalists, and propagandists, which are often one and the same, like to cover wars that fit their political and religious narratives, and in which only the targets they despise and want demonized can be blamed. Furthermore, the war in the Sudan is a war and genocide that cannot be covered where reporters and propagandists can luxuriate in first-class comfortable hotels so they decline to go there. The anti-Israel the anti-Israel mobs like to virtue signal their concern for the children of Gaza. If they cannot virtue signal or use children and claims of genocide in order to demonize Israel, they are not interested. This is why they are silent about the genocide in Darfur. This is why they are silent about the deliberate attacking and slaughtering of children and other civilians, not only in Darfur, but also in Yemen, Syria, Somalia, northern Nigeria, Myanmar, Democratic Republic of the Congo, and in many other places. If they cared about children, they would insist Hamas release the hostages, including the Israeli baby and four-year-old child kidnapped and still held in captivity. They would demand that Hamas and Islamic Jihad stop waging war from densely populated areas. They would demand that Hamas and Islamic Jihad stop using the civilians and children of Gaza as their human shields. They would demand that Hamas and Islamic Jihad be held accountable for building tunnels to protect only themselves and from which to wage war while leaving the civilians above ground without even a single bomb shelter. They would demand Hamas and Islamic Jihad stop indoctrinating children into believing their only purpose in life is to murder Jews. They would demand an end to the genocidal ambitions of Hamas, Islamic Jihad, Hezbollah, Iran, and others, in which they openly declare in their words, actions, and in their charters their intention to destroy Israel and wipe out its Jewish population. They would demand accountability for the October 7th attack against thousands of defenseless people inside of Israel, from babies to old people, in which people were wounded, kidnapped, raped, burned alive, beheaded, mutilated, burned, murdered in all kinds of horrific ways. They would not continue to show the world that they could care less about children and genocide, including the millions of children harmed and murdered by wars, genocide, and terror raging across the globe as long as Israel or Jews are not involved involved and cannot be blamed and demonized. They would stop trivial, trivializing the meaning of genocide and conflating genocide with war itself. Children and civilians are always casualties of war when war is waged in densely populated areas by combatants or terrorists that hide behind and beneath civilians and that use civilians as their human shields. 
The simple fact is that because there is not the Jew or Israel to blame, no one cares about the children, rape women and girls, and genocide now taking place in Darfur. That is why the killing fields in Yemen, Syria, Myanmar, northern Nigeria, Somalia, the Congo region, and in a thousand other places, no matter how many babies and children are slaughtered, there is nothing but silence. The meaning of genocide has been perversely altered to mean only acts of war by Israel in which civilians are not deliberately targeted and, you, and, are, the, and are the casualties of war against terrorists who use civilians as their human shields. If Israel cannot be blamed, then the deliberate targeting of civilians, including of specific ethnic or religious groups, either receives approval and celebration, such as the approval and celebration by many for the October 7th Hamas and Islamic Jihad atrocities, or it receives silence, such as the silence for Darfur.